it's Love and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing like a little hamster cage tour slash setup tour. So yeah, this is my hamster setup. So that's my door in my room by the way, so like you walk in. I have, there's nothing under this basket. I just like flip the basket upside down, make a little table. Um, yeah, this is a fish tank. And this came on top of the fish tank for some reason. I don't know why. So we don't have a lid, so we're just using this for now. And he can breathe. Because, like, this doesn't fully close down. And stuff. So, to open it, I just usually, like, fold it all the way up like that. And it's good. So, there he is. There's the little pepper. And his middle name is Houdini, by the way, because... If you don't know who, who Houdini is, well, search it up. But he's basically an escape, escape artist. And he is like a little escape artist too. Because I actually found him on here. That's why I decided to put this lid on. Because I don't want to, him to get hurt. But we're going to buy an actual fish tank, like a, a lid for this cage. Um, yeah, but this is just kind of like a makeshift. So... Yeah, now let's get into the cage. So I'm gonna put a little sign right here that says pepper, but I did not make it yet. So let's just get into the cage. So first here, I have some uh, toilet paper to make as like for like bedding, and I rubbed it on my hands. So like, like for like then if he puts it in his nest, um, then his nest will smell like me, so he'll be like familiar to my smell. Then here, uh, we have a wheel which he simply adores. Is he gonna go in right now? No. Okay, so he likes to go around and in it. Oh, he's in it. We have pepper. And then we have these little chew balls everywhere. I don't have them to chew toys, but yeah, because I'm gonna get more. But yeah, I have a little pink chew ball, a yellow chew ball right here. I have his water, he flings uh, bedding into it every single time he drinks. I'm not going to change it every single time. I only change it when it gets like a really full of bedding or like every day. Which one comes first? I've only had it for one day though. And yeah, this is his bedding. What? <laughs> and it's deeper here. So here is like just kind of like a normal space. And then here is deeper so he can burrow. He hasn't burrowed yet though. And then here he has his food. Um, I put it in the bedding because he likes to sit in uh, the food while he eats it and this is his food all if you want a video of like his diet comment down below and yeah so this is hit like a little hiding that's right here and I put it with some bedding inside like that so like you can like crawl in and stuff and I just tossed this up. Okay, so there's a little ball right here. I think the blue one was up there, but I'll just put the pink one. I don't really mind. But yeah, that's his cage. And I know it's kind of, like, boring, but I will uh, make it more interesting after. Like, eh, once I, like, he gets more settled in and stuff. And, yeah, so now let's move on to this. I can't wait to close it up. So to close it up, this always stays in there. Just to close it up, I just kind of fold it down, and boom, it's closed. And this doesn't matter if it's like that or whatever. So right here is a little sword juice. So those two is not hamster related, and these two are. And at the top is hamster related. That and that, that is not, by the way, the white thing. So let's start at the very bottom. Oh, it has wheels, by the way, so I can like roll it around. So at the very bottom, I just have his bedding and a cup so I can like scoop the amount I want. Um, this bedding isn't really that colorful and stuff. This is basically the only bedding I had for like a good price and stuff. So, and the other ones were like um, pine and cedar shavings which are uh, dangerous for hamsters. So yeah, that's the bedding and my friend told me that there is like Care Fresh and KT Clean and Cozy bedding which is like the more popular bedding at Global or off Amazon. So I'm going to 
uh, order or go to the store after, uh, when I run out of this because I don't really like this bedding, but it's fine. So we have that. Then here we have a little mug because sometimes if I don't want to pick him up, I can just like put this in the cage and he can crawl in and then I can pick it up. Um, so I just keep that there. And then this is like a little schedule. I'm not going to show you because I don't really follow it. But yeah, I just made it like a long time ago before I even got a hamster. But yeah. This is right here. So I'll open it up and show you. So this is a little, a little um, what's it called? The box he came in. And then I brought this box. So like when we got in the car, I transferred him into this box instead because, yeah, I just did. Because hamsters can chew through this and then escape, or it can open. So that's why I just picked this up at the dollar store before we went to get him. So we got Oh, and I leave some bedding in there. It has like some treats in it, not some treats there. Well, yeah, like some treats and food and stuff in it. I put for him when we were at the car ride home. He didn't really eat much of it, but yeah, I'm just going to leave that in there for like whenever I have to put him in, in there again because it already has like all this stuff. It will like smell like him and stuff. So. Yeah. Then also I have right here is this. It's a little broom and a little dustpan. So this is great because um, I actually want to get a rug. But yeah, but this is really great because hamster stuff tends to be messy. So this is like really good to like sweep up. See, I already got like some dirt and stuff because when I was showing you the bedding, I kind of spilled some. But yeah, so that's all dirt. So that's good to. Usually I would do this with two hands, but yeah, so it's good to clean, to be nice and neat and tidy. I'm gonna put that away after. Also, this is good to scoop up the bad, like the bedding that he peed or pooed in in his cage, and I can just scoop it up and like throw it away, so I don't have to like touch it or everything. And I'm not gonna put this away because I just like put dirt in, so I'm gonna like I'm gonna in a trash can after. But yeah. So these two are not hamps related, so I'm not even gonna show them to you guys. And then here we have some homemade DIY treats I made. They're raspberry flavored. He actually has one in his cage somewhere. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. Here, I'll show you. Right there, that little raspberry uh, treat. So if you want a video on this, comment down below. They're really cute and you can make a lot. And then here I have his food and his food is so he has one and a half tablespoons i'm not sure like either every second day or i'll refill it when his bowl is empty i'm not quite sure yet i haven't really decided but yeah so this is his food yeah it has like a lot of good different like variety so it has like um little sunflower seeds it has other little seeds it has like corn pieces and like nuts um it even has like if i can pull one out to show you i don't know what they're called and i'm like trying to find one so basically like these has those and like a lot of good stuff so and this food is right there so yeah, that's basically what my hamster's little setup looks like. Hey, buddy. I want to see if Pepper wants to come out. Pepper. Pepper. Here, can I stop your wheel? Oh, don't climb on that. She is, sometimes he climbs on that. I'm not quite sure why. Here, Pepper. Stop it. Here, come here. Come. I want to show the camera. I want to show you to the camera. Okay, well, Ooh. here's Pepper. Okay. Oh, no running away, Pepper. No running away. Stop it. 
Pepper. No, no, no. He is crazy, so... Yeah, here's Pepper. If you guys wanted to see. If you guys were like, where is Pepper? I want to see Pepper. There he is. So, Okay, Pepper, I'm sorry for disturbing you. You can go back now. And yeah. So that is Pepper's cage and setup. So thanks for watching. And if you want to see more videos with Pepper, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!